Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a presentation video really fast and easy by using presentation slides and a screen recorder. And in this example, I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. And for the presentation slides, I'm using Google Slides. So the first thing you need to do is to create presentation slides by using pictures, text, and shapes, which can be animated, as you can see here. And I have all the slides I want. So the next thing I need to do is go to Screencast-O-Matic and press Start Recording. So this is a small screen recording application. So I'm going to open up and run. You only need to go through this first time around. Second time around, it will just launch. So it's installing the screen recorder right now. Oh, and security warning is coming up. Uh, allow this file. Okay, now the Screencast-O-Matic screen recorder has been installed and this box is a recording area. So what you want to do is to set it to 720p and make sure this app is getting the sound from the microphone on your computer. If you don't see the volume level in green, that means your microphone has not been selected so go there and choose the right one in this case default microphone works but this is a real the microphone I'm using so I'm going you can also I'm going to check this sounds good on my computer this is my default anyway so and computer audio in this case only the audio source for this particular video is my talking so the sound from microphone alone is all I need the computer audio is if you're playing videos on your computer it can pick up the video sound directly from the video not through your microphone so you can have a clear sound for the video you're playing well anyway in most cases you don't need this computer audio so this application can record two things. It can record the screen within this box. It can also record videos from your webcam. If you want to record from your webcam, you, you have to you need to select which webcam to use and in my case it's in you can also record from your webcam and the screen recorder. And in that case it's going to be both the webcam and the screen recorder and right now webcam video is placed in the bottom left bottom right corner if you want to show the webcam video as a main video then click here then that will happen but for this example I'm not going to be needing a webcam so I'm going to just use screen recorder and when you're ready to record it's a record button here so you will press the record button and you see a countdown now it's recording so what's going on right now is uh, this app is recording the screen within this box as a video okay, I'm gonna adjust the recording area now what you need to do is presentation slides and go to present and start presenting your presentation as you would normally do to the to the real audience the difference is you are you're just going through your presentation alone so so you just go through your presentation as you would normally do with all the uh, animations and transitions and move to the next slide okay while you're recording you can also pause your recording and if you want to resume recording you just press again and go and you can re resume your recording and when you reach the end of your presentation you will you will not just pause but click done 
And at this point you have three options. You can save your recording as a video file onto your computer. You can also upload to Screencast-O-Matic or you can upload it to YouTube. So choose Save as Video File. This is important because that's the only option that will let you save the video in high def. By high def I mean 1280 by 720 pixels. You can rename your file name Saving location, you can change it to wherever you want to. And also, there's a, an option for showing the highlight cursor or not. And highlight cursor is what I want, so I'll just leave it as is. And I don't need to show captions, so. And also, before you really save it, one more thing you can do is uh, you can crop it just a little bit you can crop the beginning and ending of it so if you play it now That's it's recorded recording. so, so you will see that you don't need the beginning part so you will you can crop the beginning and ending this is where everything ended so crop so this is the only section I need now I'm ready to publish. The publish means save the recording as a video file in this case. Now it's saving. Remember it's only saving this selected segment. Done. It gives you a quick option to open the folder where the video, uh, video was saved. So I'm going to just click and jump to the folder and see if the video is there. Right there. Double click and see if it's really a video or not. So. And it is a video. Voila.